Well, everybody, you know what they say about agriculture and farmers. Farmers are the mother of all inventions, nearly. <laughs> farmers are very innovative. Now, James, what are we looking at here? I can see there's a cane beaver tail. Yeah. The cattle body on the cane beaver tail. What notion did you take of that? Oh, I don't know. I think I was standing one day and I just thought that would be a good idea from shifting a lot of cattle, make three tillers out of one. Now, you bought the cane beaver tail and they've been making beaver tails as long time oh, and for moving a digger and bales. That's right. That was your... That was the first and priority. With no intention of a cattle body. Nope. Then you were pricing cattle bodies. And then I went bad <laughs> when I heard the price of them. You get scared. At well, I'm scared. I'm scared myself. I says, I doubt I can make something that would do the same job and use the same chassis and everything else. But what you've actually done is design a cattle body that's possibly up there with the least aggressive slope in, if not the least aggressive slope into any trailer of that size that I have ever seen. Well, that's, that's part of the idea come from. Because if, you know, if we yeah. just walk in here, like so obviously your cane beaver tail pivots at the back axle here. That's right. Dropping that angle right down, and then you've went and put a hydraulic door on the tripper as uh, well, as we call it. That's correct, yeah, I just to make things a bit which is, harder. Which is this, this bad boy here. So in theory, you step out of your tractor, you lower your beaver tail down, then you lower your tripper down, all done. That's right. With a touch of a button. That's right. Do you think will it stand the abuse? Oh, it'll stand the abuse, all right. <laughs> what, what, what makes you say that? Just it's, ignorance. <laughs> it's ju just the way I build things. <laughs> I usually go overboard in everything when I'm making it. Well, your farms, obviously, as we can see, it's Carnview Farms. Now, how I know this man, or how I first met this man, was for anybody that travels the infamous A26 heading towards Balamina from the Balamoni side will always have looked over and seen the very fancy shooting ground <laughs> on the side uh, of the road. That's yours. That's that. Yeah. That's, so that's the business that this man has been working in shooting his whole life and the odd time we would go and aim <laughs> <laughs> and not hang on. Well, so I tried to coach you but that didn't work. <laughs> <laughs> but you're also on the same road as us at Grassman and you were telling me about this design and I thought what a wonderful way. And you ever made there two pins, four legs, sorry. Yes, there's four jack legs goes in. Four jack legs goes in, wind her down, and that lifts her straight you up. Wind, I lift the body, you just take off the bounce down the side there and just well, lift let, her clean. Let's go inside and lovely look at this here. We have the flap, beefy oh, uh, flap, we have the light bar. You've went a wee bit overboard here. Well, I think she's just bells and whistles. <laughs> but look at this. Like, this is so, like. Have you measured the angle? No, I haven't, but I know it's about, couldn't be any more than about 20 degrees if it is that. Slurry trap. So I. Uh, magnetic gates, as I call them. So you have the magnets on here. I uh, just to hold them back. But it's yeah. some, like. Just to keep them back there. Like there's good strength in that. Oh, I. Uh, well, that was supposed to be a gate there for to be safety. But I don't think either you or me would fit in there. <laughs> that gap. <laughs> but that was the idea of it. Depends who's driving. <laughs> Send the young boy in. Driving at the door. Send the young boy in. So essentially what have you made? You've made a cattle body for a cane trailer. But, you know, we've come down, we're neighbours. We wanted to see what you've done. But what if somebody else has this idea? It's painted. You've painted this? Yeah, well, the, the design's been painted. Yes. So it has, and that's been registered. So it's... Uh, there could be concepts of it, but that's the way we have built it. And as far as I know, there's nobody else has ever done this type of easy loading, as I call it, because you can basically load wee cows into that there. Oh, well, that, that's a very steep. And then she runs in this slider, just comes up and, and, and below the as, roof. As and below the roof, as nice and as she, you like. Yeah. So, did you always tinker at making stuff? Oh, all the time. I'm always making something. My head seems to work better if not, I'm working at you something. You not just be like normal people and ring someone up and pay them money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm bothering the man. I'm miserable. <laughs> but, and you have a front door as well. Oh, I, uh, But that wasn't the reason. You had the trailer. You thought, how can I make more? Because there are concepts of 
blue loaders, we'll call it, with cattle bodies on them. That's right, yeah. But not... None of them are with a beaver tail, the same yeah. as this type of beaver tail. Most of them are done with like low loading ramps, but they're too low to the ground to be able to get into a field with. In my opinion, they're too low to go, to, you know, because they're hanging away way down low. And it is true, like a low loader with a double wheel system on it doesn't do well in wet ground. No. And, uh, and on, the, on this trailer here, you have um, your 445 sort of mini super singles. Mini super singles, it. yeah. And very possibly, with I haven't looked in at spacings, I don't know, but perhaps you could go more flotation on the tyre as well if you needed to. Yeah, yeah, well, you could. I well, would you imagine could. so. You could, yeah. Well, them's agri tyres that's on her now, so they are uh, good for going through a field. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'll know Kane will give you a wee ring there and start making these. Well, you could actually, <laughs> put, you could actually put this onto a triaxle. It's just a longer body, but yeah. it's the same concept. It's yes. the same beaver tail that goes on the back of it. You just have to make the front bit that Well, instead of that. being 28 foot long, she's going to be 32 foot long or whatever. Yeah, but in theory, you could, you could probably still set it on. It's all on what way you attach it down. Oh, just uh -huh. with a wee bit of gap at the front, enough That's room right. at the front for the quad bike. Well, you can just lengthen this as well. Did you tell me it? you can run the gator up in this? I, I had the gator in this, and you can bring the gator right up. A quad bike could sit in the back pen, but in the gator, you had to come a wee bit further. So... Obviously, the cane beaver tail. We'll go out again, maybe. So the cane beaver tail trailer is designed to lift weight. So take off your cattle body. If you had a tractor, the bag of a tractor sitting on there, yeah. or bags of fertilizer, she or lift bales, it. she left it. Mm -hmm. So you have your cattle loaded, shut your back doors as per usual. No matter what cattle standing in that back bit, she's going to lift them. No problem. But the other thing you were showing us earlier on is that just say you want it to run up in. You wouldn't have to go to all the bother of dropping the beaver tail down if you didn't want. No, you the can way, lower. The yep. way you have made the tripper door yep. here, when she's up in position, she'll still drop back. That's correct, yeah. It is steeper right now. Oh, it's steeper, but um, big cattle would be okay, but loading younger cattle, it's easier than a like, big step up. Oh, yeah, of course you know. it is. So, And do you think you'll try and sell this? Well, Peyton, that's or? that's the idea, and there's a couple of guys I've sort of. Oh, I mean, I'm on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's sort of be interested in building them for me because I build one, and then I sort of lose interest, and after that, somebody else can build them if they want, yeah. you know. But uh, I usually build a thing for myself. And you happy with the strength of it? Very much so. It's a strong, strong trailer. Hey. And, and I see you have. I, I like that there now. The wee rollers you have on the end of the the tripper there. Aye. That's uh, that's lorry spec. <laughs> that's that's to allow the, 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 the rump to roll out. Yes. If you're lowering her down. If you had her on the ground she can lower her on down and she'll roll out, you know. No one else. But then see we had to put an extension legs in below there to keep her from going too far down. Yes. Because she's not the whole way down there at the minute. If you're going into a dagger spec, you know, to lift to put on a dagger. I understand what you're saying. So yes. She's kept so up. Yeah, you just put these ramps down. Aye, so you there's actually more in that ramp. Oh, a lot more, yeah. A lot that, more. that ramp will nearly get yeah, down to it's on the ground. We'll actually go right, that blue bit at the back will actually go right the whole way to the ground. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. know, for to put on a dagger. But uh, it's a great wee job there for putting on the gator or a quad or anything. You can put on the wee ramps that Cain supply. If you had put it on her, the back. If you had her opened up, or if you had her folded away, right, and had your four legs round here. Yeah. So was that here? Aye, they go in there, yeah. Those wee flaps turn to the side. Yeah. And How... How long would you have? How long till you could drive your low loader out and have a low loader? Apart from taking out the 10 bolts that's holding her down, which you could spin out with a uh, Milwaukee. A Milwaukee. <laughs> <laughs> or <laughs> DeWalt. Or or DeWalt. DeWalt. <laughs> we'll, 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 not, we'll not be too precise. But you could spin them not about 15 minutes, you could have reject half and away you go. Now, it might take you a wee bit longer to put it back in again because you have to be more precise, you know, and get her lined up properly. Or um, a good driver. <laughs> I am, no, no, I understand, but I, uh, so, so, like, I mean, at the end of the day, you think there's no real benefit to having the two types of trailers because you can buy a cattle float. Oh, you can, yes, I, on a, on a, but, again, it's horses for courses. If you want to pay for an extra trailer, I mean, most of the boys shift the digger, farmers anyway, maybe once or twice a year. So the rest of the time that could sit on it. Aye, and it's, it's, as you say, it's different times, different specs. Yeah. So there's shift the digger to a couple of wee jobs you're doing. Yeah. There's bales, which is only going to be a wee bit during the summer. That's right. And then now, don't be fooled by this beautiful morning. <laughs> <laughs> the weather is far from good here. Yesterday you wouldn't have said that. This is our leap year. Aye. This is leap year day. This is right. 
29th of February today. An extra day this year. So this is, um, don't be fooled, the weather is absolutely soaking. Oh. But soon, if the weather was playing ball, yep. you'd be starting to move cattle. Cattle would be hopefully getting out very soon. Yeah. And that's make a big difference to us, being able to shift cattle around to different places. And yeah. are you milking cows? We are, aye. Yeah. On the farm as well. Oh, aye. Well, the young, the young boy does that mostly now. <laughs> so we side door here. And useful enough too, bits and pieces extra you need in your toolbox you can have. Well, you've all your bits and pieces in there. I mean, we put that remote in there to keep that from getting... Steps to get up and look in if you need in the front door. Well, that was put on to make it easier to wash. So you can pull the pressure washer through the front rather than pulling the pressure washer the whole way up. You can wash her from the back out or from the front out. And is it a big job putting her away? If you nope. track, you only start the tractor yeah, and I'll, no problem, I'll, I can... I'll, I'll watch her here. Yeah, no problem. But it is true what they say. Necessity is the mother of all invention and farmers and farming families have been designing things for years. And I don't think we give them enough of credit sometimes to or some of our manufacturers. I mean, the very name Cain, Cain Trailers, if I've got my history right, Cain trailers themselves, they were contractors, they still do farm a lot, I'm not, but you know, they were contractors and I think one of their early slogans was built by contractors for contractors and that Cain beaver tail is an absolutely brilliant concept of a trailer. Um, you know, a lot of manufacturers have come from farming stock, as James is sort of putting away and you know, I think it's a great idea to be honest with you anything to make it a bit easier for the cattle. Of course, longevity, test of time, there's a lot of different things. There's the bike door going up. Now, James made this with hydraulic rams, but you could probably keep cost down a little bit and just go with a traditional spring tripper door. Look, all nicely finished at the bike, the flat, but personally I think when you go to that kind of effort on a trailer, it's nice to have the wee finishing touches to it as well. Now this is the beaver tail bit. And that's her locked in. That's her. Simple as that. How long did that take you? Oh, about, between foot and about, you never really get full days out of it whenever you're farming. I would say, I would say a couple you of months. I would say you'd be safe for not leaving that magnet on there now. No, no, that can be pulled off. <laughs> <laughs> and that whole thing can be removed. And just... Oh, well, it would be dead on set. Them are strong. I know you weren't like tail lifts you and try, that. You try and pull that oh, off. I, no, no, no. It could be set in there, no, but I was just, no. I was just laughing. So. Oh, no, no, no. For somebody would be away with that if you left it in the market. I see you have the camera and all on. Yep. Just for reversing up and or say you're at the mart or something. So, well, look, James. Thanks for letting us come and take a look at it. I think it's a fantastic idea. Well done. I love to see this. Well, That's a, a big cattle trailer when you see it. Oh, she's 28, almost 28 foot long. There's a couple of boys I'd like to think, and that's ASF engineer, Neil McCulloch. He's the boy. He helped me to, put even it, to, though to he, fold all that aluminium. Even now, though he is a Peterbilt man. <laughs> we'll let him away with that one. <laughs> and, the, and the other one's Beefy Flaps too. They, they were done more than a good job sending that over to us. So did. Aye, so, well... I mean, you know, the likes of lorries, our lorries there, beefy flaps on them, they, they're well known for that. And, and we better mention Owen as well. I know, Owen, AAR, <laughs> he's responsible for lighting it up like a Christmas tree. Oh, well, more or less, eh? <laughs> <laughs> he, he came up with all the ideas about, oh, that would look well on it, that would look well on it. So, to be fair to him, no, it, did, it did look well. Oh, no, super job, hi. And John Deere's the tractor of choice. Well... There's a couple of them about here. Mind you, they need to get a bit cheaper. <laughs> oh, there's your dig, John Deere. Right, lovely job. Thank you.